Why do they call it deviant art? We're back with something a little bit different today. I'm going back over my old deviant art page, which is terrifying. <laughs> it's really important that you know that I was not a child. I was a fully grown adult, so this is why I'm kind of nervous. I know there's some art there that I would still be proud of, but there is also some... I don't even have words. That's all I can say. Now, DeviantArt is quite an old website. August 7th, 2000. It's, it's just as old as I am. <laughs> so 2000, so that makes it 23 years old. The website just looks ugly, man. Like it's just, Jesus, it is ugly. That's not how you spell your name. <laughs> I'm tired. <laughs> okay, we're in. Let's go into my account. Um, how do I get into my... Wow, it has been a long time. I don't even know how to look at my account. You would think that... Oh, there we go. Just click on my username. Who'd have thought? So I joined 10 years ago. But I'm really worried about what I'm about to see. So let's just go to the gallery. My very, very, very first upload was this. You know what? Like, I was really enthusiastic. And you can see that I didn't have a style, like my own style, because I think I was trying to draw, like, some sort of anime style with that really triangular face. I don't want to be too hard on myself, because this is my art journey. And the way I look at it is every single piece of art that I have ever done has contributed to the point that I'm at now. So, Nothing was ever a waste, like nothing was ever a waste of time. So even though I might cringe when I look at my art, it's been beneficial to me in the long term. So I'm going to kind of keep that in the back of my head while I internally like just there. <laughs> you know, I was obviously very optimistic of what I could do considering I had no idea how to use markers. So you know what? We have problems here. Like the anatomy is just, I can't even describe that as anatomy. I don't know what I was doing. Like, look at the length of the arms. I'm trying to, you know, make excuses here for what I perceive as, you know, a lack of skill, but it was a lack of skill because I hadn't put enough hours in. I hadn't done enough studies. I, you know, I hadn't put enough hours into the craft. So, you know, that's the way it's going to look. The pose and the really long torso. I just realized, oh, wow, that is a long torso. <laughs> She's practically a snake. Then I got into realistic portraits because I found, like many people find, if you don't have an art style, it's really, really hard to really draw anything. So I think most people, they go back to a realistic or even try and go for a hyper-realistic style. I didn't know what I was drawing, so I thought, okay, well, if I can just copy a picture, I'm drawing something at least, and maybe I'll get better. And I think that's the mentality behind it. I do not have the hours to dedicate to something like this because I know this would have taken me, oh my days, this was difficult, yeah. <laughs> How long did it take? 20 hours over the course of two weeks. 20 hours. I do not have 20 hours over the course of two weeks to do one picture. Like, that's just insane. It also costs some of what's left of my sanity. <laughs> I have a feeling I might have deleted some stuff because I know... There was something quite horrendous in here. One of my first digital pieces of art. And, like, you can see the problems there. Like, I can critique that and be like, okay, look, I went crazy with the textured brushes. If you look at the hair, it's basically like a hairbrush, like, with the really, really fine lines. And I just used that for the entire hair. And it doesn't look great, to be honest. It's just too much. It lacks the chunks of hair because I'm using this brush. So it's also lacking definition and contrast in the hair because there's no shadows there. And to be honest, there's not really much shadows anywhere. I overuse the airbrush like crazy. Has anyone ever heard of a hard round brush? Not me, obviously. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh my God. You can see how muddy this is. And I think it's because I was adding like black in my digital colors so, so i was shifting the color more to black rather than changing the hue and the saturation 
to avoid that muddiness. So you can see that that's quite muddy. There's no interesting textures. It's just all very blurry. So far, this isn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. You know, I don't draw men that often. I still don't draw men that often, but I didn't draw men at all back then. I had the ideas, you know, this was before I had baby brain. Like, my brain was fully functioning. It was an amazing time. <laughs> I obviously went too overboard with saturation here. Like, it's just like, color, wow! Color exists! I'm so excited! Yeah, look at the background. <laughs> what background? <laughs> okay, what else we got? I'm a huge, 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 huge Final Fantasy fan. Like, I have... I've grown up with this gaming series. Like, it's very, very close to my heart. And I then kind of went through a phase of doing lots of Final Fantasy pictures. They were kind of like epic scale kind of pictures. You know, I just really wanted to do something big. So even though it's quite sketchy, like, you zoom right in there. Like, we do we really want to zoom in that? No, we don't want to zoom in that far. But from a distance, it looks fairly okay. You know, I was even trying to get those, like, beams of light in. Like, God, the ideas. Like, I was just... Mm. This one here is so special. And when I look at it now, like... God, like... I was tenacious. Like, I'm just, like... I'm going to do something epic. Like, a really cool, like scene and anyone that has played Final Fantasy knows that the Marlboros are the worst enemies ever like as soon as they do bad breath you're dead you're gone just switch off the game that's it hope you save beforehand because you're so dead you don't want to zoom in too far because then we see the multitude of sins that are going on so you know I've atoned for those now it's it's cool it's okay but I look at that now and it's amazing but the reason why this is special is because i actually got a daily deviation for this that was like me winning a freaking oscar <laughs> like at the time i was so excited i just i thought that's it i've made it <laughs> so yeah it's uh it's a special one and you know also hang on one second you want to see how proud I was of this? I got it made into a mug. That's how excited and proud I was of this one. Thank you, uh, DeviantArt, for making my dreams come true. I have a before and after. Here we go. Before, after. February 2014. This is the one I was talking about. This was a really ugly one. <laughs> this was my very, very first kind of digital art practice. It was originally... Um, a marker, piece of marker art, and then I decided to draw over it digitally just to get used to, I think I had a bamboo tablet, like those mini bamboo tablets. And yeah, just like, like her body. What? But anyway, February 2014, December 2014. That's eight months, like, no, math is not mathing. 10 months, that was 10 months of progress. And I think that's a significant leap in skill because I just did not stop practicing. Like, I was just hell-bent on getting really, really good at digital art. So this is when I started doing studies. So it took me how long <laughs> until 2015 to actually start learning the real stuff and trying to progress the proper way. You know, I'm really glad that I recognized that I needed to help myself by doing studies. This is when I got into my kind of Disney princess uh, redraw era and yeah, I mean that's a whole different story um, that I can talk about in another video. Um, a lot of this kind of ended up getting attention when I started doing redraws. Um, mostly good, but some very, very, very bad comments. Not on DeviantArt, actually, but on Instagram. So, um, moving swiftly on. Wow, that's actually really, really good. How long did that take? 12 hours. That's not bad. 12 hours. The Disney princesses, um, that's when I started posting on Instagram, and that's when my art really changed quite significantly because I think I was catering to the Instagram audience rather than 
progressing for myself, which is quite sad. But we also have to take into account here that, you know, I was a new mum as well and I didn't have the time that I had before to invest all of these hours into improving and to create these, like, in my mind, masterpieces, you know. And I didn't have the time, so I was looking for ways that I could still do art but kind of improve my following. And I just did so many portraits of people, you know, on Instagram and, you know, famous people and stuff like that. Yeah, so I was really kind of getting more into digital art now, but I was getting more into the kind of cartoony style of it and not just, you know, doing these epic backgrounds and, you know, trying to do these epic scenes from Final Fantasy. I was just trying to, I think, just copy what everyone else was doing on Instagram. Um, But this is cute. This is cute, me and my son. Um, And I miss doing things like this, actually. I need to do these again. But the Disney Kids series is what blew up my Instagram page. So I don't know why I decided to do this, but I think I just, the first page I did was the baby Ariel. And I thought, oh, wouldn't it be really cool? And this wasn't really to to try and get a following. I just thought it'd be cool for myself because I was using my markers again after a long time. And I thought, wouldn't it be really cool if I drew like loads of Disney characters as kids or as humans if they're not human and that's what I did for a month and it blew up my Instagram page like crazy like it went viral everywhere <laughs> like it kind of ruined me and that I that's definitely something that I need to talk about in a different video because this is more about DeviantArt but drop a comment if that's something you want to know about um how that affected me and I can talk about that. I was doing mermaid. These are actually really, I still really like these, these mermaids, you know, they're just, they have a little bit of character to them, you know. I think I was at this time really trying to pin down my style and I was developing a style and it's not too far off actually how I would draw this now. So I definitely had locked in my style around this time, which was 2017. And I actually had my second child then. So, you know, I had two kids and I was probably struggling for time. But, you know, I was still trying to make art. I love this. One of my favorite movies, Death Becomes Her. And I just absolutely love this scene. And I just wanted to draw her as a mermaid. I thought it'd be really interesting. So, uh, (laughs) yeah. And I stop. I stopped it. So my last post was... 2017 five years ago it feels kind of sad now that I think about how I just stopped out of the blue but it was obviously because I had started investing all of my time in Instagram that DeviantArt just kind of fell to the side for me but would I go back and start my DeviantArt again or start posting again no I was actually going to delete my account because of that big controversy that happened a couple of months ago you probably know what I'm talking about but I I ended up not deleting it because they did backtrack on what they were planning on doing but also because I don't want to remove that part of my art life because a lot of this stuff isn't posted anywhere else you know I didn't post all of the stuff at the beginning on my Instagram because it didn't exist and I don't want to lose that part of my journey because like I said before Every single picture has counted towards the artist that I am today. So even though some of these are not fantastic, I still care about every single one of these pictures because they meant something to me at the time. And that's important to me now because they did contribute towards my growth. So yeah, that's uh, that's my DeviantArt account. And if you're interested in, in looking at it in a little bit more detail, It's just my name, so um, you can go and have a look at all of my old art there if you want to. Um, Whatever you do, please promise me you will not zoom in to my pictures, because that's not fair. (laughs) It wasn't really much of a reaction video, more of a explaining my art and having a trip down memory lane, I guess. Um, It's been interesting and not as bad as I thought, so if you're ever thinking kind of crappy about yourself, just think... It's probably not as bad as you think it is. So yeah, if you enjoyed this video, please drop me a like and subscribe if you're not. And I will see you in my next video.